So this is a video about my accommodation at Harris Watt University, Edinburgh. Um, so this is uh, on-campus accommodation and this is the Christina Miller Hall. So as you can see, I'm using my key card to access the building. You need the key card to access everything in the building, whether the kitchen, your flat. So in this accommodation, there are two different types. There, there's like the studio accommodation and there's the um like flats where you share like kitchen and i stayed in the flat where you share where you share kitchen where all the rooms are ensuite so the building is like five floors so it's there's like a minus one there's zero one two three and i took the third floor because i thought as the student accommodation and it may be noisy so i want to be away from the noise when i'm in my room i want it to be quiet and i know that i am relaxing and not fighting with somebody from somewhere so i always use the elevator because you i'm not ready to be climbing stairs and like as i said from z minus one to third floor is like five fl flights of stairs and stuff so that this accommodation is um it has five rooms in it this is my view from the corridor of the room so i'm in flat nine as you saw on the door and i'll be heading into the kitchen now so the kitchen which um five people are supposed to share the kitchen because there are five flats in this in the five rooms in, in flat nine so um the kitchen is big we have we can relax on the couches there's like a small dining kind of thingy dining table there and there's a lot of space um they're like there's a lot of storage also so there's 10 i think the 10 um 10 lockers yes that what they call it 10 lockers and i think they were expecting that two of them one up and one down would belong to one person and yeah and so on and so forth so um this is the view this is the christina miller west and there's another part of the building christina miller east which is right out the window the other way um we we shared uh, we were supposed to be five well we we were four one room was unoccupied so it's we still had a lot of space but it's even if there were five people in this in this accommodation you won't you won't really feel it that much so we had a fridge and a freezer that we also shared and um everybody had their levels like the different layers in it you can you you pick one and that's yours and we never had any problem with somebody stealing my food or somebody doing you know, that i'll be referring i'll be saying things in past tense because i would no longer stay in accommodation i moved my accommodation after my tenancy ended yeah i know the video came very very late and so that was the fridge and this is the freezer and the same thing applies here you have your own layer um cleaners um did some cleaning i think once or twice every week and took away the trash so we didn't have any problem cleaning this that was a meal my flatmates made for us yeah they are asian so uh, this was a really really wonderful meal i will never forget this meal in my life <laughs> so this is the corridor that goes to and everybody's room so my room is on the left here room in bedroom number five and so we the same way you use the key to access the room you put the key in the pockets else the key will will um the, the room lights will go off so yeah we had the radiator that's the heater um there's a room the, the um, door to the bathroom and there's a lot of storage in the room let me tell you this radiator this radiator <laughs> i when i came because i came right in the middle of the winter and I was like, yo, this this place is cold. I don't think this radiator is working. Like I put my hand on it and it was it was warm. So I was like, are you sure this thing is working? And I called me and I'm like, guys, I'm I'm about to die of cold here. They came and touched, touch, touch. You see that that I'm unfortunate it is the best that the the thing can do, that the heater can do. But I'll just have to lay out. Well after some time I got used to the cold. And as you can see, this is my room, and it's really it has a lot of storage. This is one reason I liked I, I liked the room. Even the place I'm staying in now has some storage, but it's not as much as this one. I really didn't have a lot of things, which I, I was on purpose because I I I, did, I didn't want um, clutter. So I didn't mind that my 
the face was looking empty. Yeah, that's what I wanted because when I have thought, I'm not able to think. So, um, the bedding, the bedding pack, when you, when you are paying for your accommodation online, the, you have the option to pay for like a bedding pack. So I paid for a bedding pack to like 30 pounds and it was really, really helpful because, um, I came in, I was already tired. I couldn't start going and start buying duvet, buying the duvet cover, buying bed sheets, pillows, everything came in the, in the bedding pack and I'm still using the duvet and the bed sheets till now. So it's not like it's like low quality stuff. That's it's good. Like really, really good. So that's my, my reading station and my work, work station. More storage. Yeah, you can see my indoor there. <laughs> And as you can see, the lighting was really good. We had like floor to roofs, um, floor to ceiling windows, but you can only open open the top ones. That's really good because as for health and safety reasons, because you know some people can decide to jump out when they are they are high or drunk or something. So yeah, so this is the view of the room. A lot of storage. I really enjoyed it. The floor was easy to clean. Um, yeah, more storage on the on the head of the bed. And so this is going to the bathroom. It's um, also very. It's yeah, that's me. <laughs> so um, there's like oh, you see the small, small story, small story thing there. So my shampoo and conditioner was there. Um, the sink, yeah, the toilet. As you can see, it's it's really very very. It's enough for one person. Like just you, you have en enough more than enough space to be honest. Not enough space so yeah i really enjoy this accommodation 